What is up everybody? My name is Ray. Today I am at the South Mall in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Now I have never been here before and I don't know much about it, but it looks pretty old school. So let's just go and take a look, see what we can find. Come with me. Okay, first thing I see upon arrival is this closed Bonton. So let's go take a look at this. Oh, this is so cool. Just look at how old school this building is. I have to walk quickly, there's cars coming. But just look at this pebble wall. Just look at that. Now, will we be able to see anything inside? I can almost see an old counter. Very difficult to see. No, it's probably going to be too hard to see. But just look at this place. The Bonton is no more. So this is all part of the same building. So it looks like this section of the, the mall has been demauled. Active stores, but not part of the enclosed area. But just, just look at this great signage right here. Isn't this incredible? Oh, I love that. So now I don't know if I can go in this way, if I'll be able to get in here. But if you look here, you can see this awesome planter in there. You can see some mulch and a just a stone right there. And right over there you can see the old signage for the Bonton. Now I don't know if I can access this from Petco, but I'm going to try. So I'm not allowed to go in here, but we can get a good view of that. Just look at this old school 90s mall tile. Yeah, look at that. And here we have the main entrance to the enclosed portion of the mall. How cool is this signage and this archway? Just really retro mall architecture right here. Really cool. Look at this ceiling. Oh, that is beautiful. I just love this old tile. This is the type of tile they used to have at the Bridgewater Mall. Just look at this skylight. Oh, that is gorgeous. So it looks like there's some businesses open. But we have spots here that are just closed. I guess this was community room. I'm not really sure what that was. This is a uh, pretty impressive crane machine right here. They got built into this uh, sort of van. These things, which I always see at every mall, every dead mall. Now let's go look into this building, into this uh, store right here. I don't know if you can see it, but that wall is like bright purple. So we got another closed store right here. I don't know if we'll be able to see much. Oh, we can see some old shelving here. Very dark. I don't know how much we'll be able to actually see on camera. Right here we have Stein Mart, which is now closed. And this was a store very similar to Kohl's, but I know it... It's, I think most of their stores have gone out of business now. I don't think there's too many left.
Guess I don't have to worry about being yelled at for filming today. Looks like their security office is all closed out. And now we, here we have some closed anchor. I don't know what this was. I can't really tell, but we do have this really cool green marble tile. I'm gonna point the camera in here, but I don't think we're gonna be able to see anything. It is way too dark. If anyone remembers what this was, please let me know. Like I said before, I'm really not familiar with this mall. I just happened to be in the area and decided to stop by. And let's look over here. It looks like we got another closed store. Still got a lot of merchandise in it. This looks like it might have been um, like a Claire's or something similar to that. Think I could rock those shades? Maybe. this one with all the art still on the wall. This must have been a sports store. That's pretty cool seeing that. And just look at this. This was uh, Freeman's Jewelers. Just look at that. See all that track lighting still there. Looks like we got to close the Victoria's Secret. Still see the pink polka dot wallpaper and carpet. Here we're coming up on the closed Bonton. This is a department store. I think it was mainly in the Lehigh Valley of Pennsylvania. But it's all gone now. But at least they left the signage up. That's pretty cool. And we have this store here, which looks really cool. South Mall Mercantile. I don't know what's in here. We're going to go take a look. Looks like I got this little general store section here. This is nice. Get some nice canned goods. Get some handmade sodas. That sounds really nice. I'm gonna have to pick some of those up. Big old Pikachu. Yeah, it looks like a lot of sports cards, Pokemon cards, collectibles, stuff like that. So if you like that sort of thing, you might want to come check this place out. I love places like this. Just all these little sections full of all kinds of odds and ends and cool stuff that you just don't see anywhere else. A lot of fun coming to places like this. I'm really glad I stopped here today. Didn't expect to find this and I'm quite pleased that I did. What is this? That's really intense. Look at this old school DVD rack. Makes me really feel old that DVDs are now a retro thing. I just never know what I'm going to find around each corner here. Got Star Wars collectibles, toys, all kinds of cool stuff here. Oh, look at these. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is cool. We got some old Nintendo games and little packets of Smurfs and things. Crystallis. I think I remember that game. All these old toys. Over here you've got Worf, Son of Moog place just goes on and on so this is definitely some sort of anchor store that's been repurposed I don't know what but I could see in the back I didn't film back there but there was like um, dressing rooms just look at all these cool toys and action figures and all kinds of cool stuff oh I love it I love coming to places like this now they used to have one at the Phillipsburg mall and this mall, in many ways, reminds me of the Phillipsburg Mall. Now, that's no longer open, and it's about to be demolished. But look it up on YouTube. There's some really great videos people have made back when it was open and after it's been closed. So, not a big mall. Not a whole lot to see here. 
but what is here is very nice. That store I was just in was quite lovely. I did pick up a 12 pack of assorted sodas. Uh, this place really does remind me of the Phillipsburg Mall, which is sadly no longer open. A place I loved a lot, but it's not, not here anymore. So this was the South Mall in Allentown, Pennsylvania. For Dead Mall, it still has a lot of charm to it. Um, some nice businesses in it, nice people working here. I hope this place sticks around and that the businesses here do well. Um, if you like this video, please hit subscribe to join me on my adventures in the future. Thank you for watching.